Hey guys, welcome back. What is up? I hope you guys are well. I am vlogging today. Sydney's at school. She left her little goldie, she calls it, um, in the car seat. But I, first of all, content creator things, YouTube thing, YouTuber things. I've been trying to mess with settings on my camera lately. So if things seem off in these first, I don't know, couple of clips, I don't know, hopefully I correct them by the time the end of this video. Anyway, I'm trying to uh, figure out how to work cameras a little bit better these days. I don't know, I've been on YouTube forever and I still don't know how to work cameras. I have two other cameras that I've used in the past um, that are more expensive, like high-tech cameras, but they are absolutely horrible in low-light settings, like terrible. Um, and I can't figure out how to change settings or f make it better um, other than bringing down all of the lights and just when I'm vlogging I just don't want to have to bring out all the lights um, anywho so I'm filming on my old trusty Canon G7X like normal but I have changed a couple of settings on it so I'm just gonna hopefully figure out the settings before the end of the vlog um, wow that was probably meaningless to most of you guys on YouTube but I do appreciate feedback as far as like video quality goes um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed in my last I don't know like three ish three four ish videos I have used a different setting all right stop talking Haley I'm gonna head to Target first of all I want to make a cozy soup for dinner Sydney's been craving soup so have I um, so I'm actually going to go to Target, which I don't usually do for groceries, but they are changing out the local Target. They're changing it into a super one, which makes me insanely excited because I usually have to go to a different one way further away in order to get anything cool or groceries or anything. Um, and I've just felt like our local one has honestly just been really terrible for the last three or four years. So. I'm excited that they are changing it to a super target and I'm gonna just see what they have they've been slowly adding groceries to the shelves they're doing like a whole remodel so they've been slowly adding groceries to the shelves and I haven't been um, in a little while so I want to go ahead and see uh, see the changes and pick up some groceries like I need uh, chicken broth um, we'll see what they have for groceries um, I think I want to make a roasted cauliflower garlic, roasted garlic cauliflower soup, but if they don't have some of the ingredients I need, I'll switch, I'll switch and make a different soup. So anyway, I hope you guys are well. Um, I'm ready to decorate for fall. I think I want to decorate for fall tomorrow and you guys will see that maybe like my first momtober video. I uh, cannot believe we are just a little over two weeks away from October. I'm kind of panicking panicking inside and also like, how are we almost in October? Insane. Okay, let's go to Target. <laughs> oh, this reminds me to stop at Goodwill. So many. Sydney and donating. These are so cute. I remember when everything used to be a dollar and now everything's three and five. Ah, oh, the good old days. Now you get these for a dollar. Uh. Random, but Sydney actually has this. One of um, my relatives gave this to her and she can create words. It's actually really cool. I think it was only a dollar. Um, but that's in the dollar spot. I was looking at these. These are always really nice to have on Halloween for trick-or-treating because it gets dark early. And these are only a dollar, so I think I'm going to grab one. I don't know if I should do the pumpkin or ghost. Hmm. 
And these are cute for five dollars. They're a little stiff, but pretty cute. These are good for parties. Oh, look at! Oh, I thought it was a skull. <laughs> I thought it was a skull, but it's a football helmet. Actually, that is so cute. I said it on Instagram stories, but I am so into the home decor right now. Here, this table and this one. All right, so they did not have exactly what I needed for the cauliflower soup. Um, I could have makeshifted it with some of the ingredients, but I just wanna make it properly. So I'm switching gears and I'm gonna make broccoli cheddar soup, which is one of mine and Cindy's favorites. It's just pretty heavy. <laughs> heavy on the dairy, but 
uh, is delicious. Anyway, so I will make broccoli cheddar soup tonight for dinner. And I mostly just got uh, food. So, oh, and then I also did get Sydney that uh, flashing pumpkin necklace. I thought it was cute. It's only a dollar. She can wear it for Halloween, and if it dies on Halloween, it's fine. Um, but those are really convenient to keep track of kids when it gets dark on Halloween. Um, yeah, I actually had a $25 Target gift card from one of the apps that I use and the drop app. And, um, I wanted to not spend any more than that yet. I am going to do a separate fall haul soon. Um, and I've been, uh, just kind of like waiting to do it and kind of like getting things in my cards, figuring out what I'm going to do for that, um, in the next coming weeks. So I'm going to bring those groceries home and then, um, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll make the soup early that way I don't have to make it after school and I can just play with Sydney. Um, maybe I'll do that. All right. So I grabbed a thing of water. Um, they're actually, I usually don't get Poland Springs, even though I love it. It's just double the price of like regular water, but, um, they're out. So I grabbed a Poland Springs. I grabbed a cantaloupe. And then I also grabbed the things to make uh, broccoli cheese soup. So I have some heavy cream, a uh, block of cheddar cheese. As you could see, the, a lot of the shelves were really bare because they are just transitioning. So of course they have to get like product in in order to uh, fill those brand new shelves. But I grabbed what I could. So cheddar cheese, a uh, thing of broccoli, uh, reduced sodium chicken broth, milk, bread, and then... Like I showed you in the dollar spot, this was, oops, this was that light up necklace. I think Sydney will enjoy that. So actually, I think the reason why they were out of water or like all the other waters is because, um, well, people are preparing for a potential tropical storm to hit the Gulf of Maine, which right now is totally up in the air don't know what's gonna happen um whenever i look on the like weather app it looks like it just says watching uh there's no warning or anything right now so i'm kind of preparing um as if i would for a nor'easter like making sure i have plenty of water making sure i have you know like bread and peanut butter so we can have food if we lose power granola bars crackers we have luckily because I stocked up at Trader Joe's on the last haul. Um, I still have plenty of like pantry snacks and things. Um, and then I'll make sure I get gas. Today's Wednesday when I'm filming this and they're expecting it to be hitting us like Saturday morning. So I'll make sure before I go into the weekend, you know, I have a full tank of gas. We have laundry and dishes all done um, and plenty of food and water batteries charged. Uh, basically, like I said, preparing like I would if we were having a snowstorm. Um, the only thing is, it won't be freezing cold if we lose power. So that is a blessing. Um, but right now, it looks like, mm, don't know, there's no warnings or anything. So we're kind of like, it's what we're watching it. But I think that's why maybe the water was low. So I did grab it while I was there. I do have... Um, another like couple of gallons in my uh garage anyway but i just wanted to grab one um and i have been saying about like not spending i feel like i've been talking about not spending money uh or prices a lot more lately i have been um trying to bust my butt to save up there's several things that i wanted to save up for and so i've kind of put myself on a really I don't know if I should say really strict budget, a tight budget and really testing my willpower. Um, and like not buying the $6 Starbucks and not buying, you know, the new clothes that I know next season I won't want to wear, you know? Um, so I've really been trying to save up the money. So I want to, uh, go on another Disney vacation. <laughs> so I was saving up for that. Um, we didn't take a vacation this year. We were, Sydney was just really busy with, um, summer camps, which were expensive, cost a lot of money. Um, 
and I just never made it happen but I do have a vacation on the horizons so that I wanted to save up for and I really wanted to make um, this next one like there are things that we haven't done that I want to do and they cost a lot more money so I was like you know bust your butt save your money and make it happen if you want to like short so that is yes saving for that um and then there are you know certain videos like business video things that I wanted to do um and save up for and so I um just really have not been spending my money in ways that I used to um and saving up so if you want any tips it's just pure willpower <laughs> uh as always um i always use like coupon apps and you know points apps and things like that's how i bought um i only i actually yeah i had a 25 dollars gift card um at target and i think with tax i spent 23.48 i did put that coffee creamer back though I, in the end i was like you know i don't even like that flavor just put it back so yeah i just really wanted to forgo all of the little like gratification things that i spend my money on like coffee or clothes or something um, and really save it up for a big vacation or, you know, uh, better quality clothes that are going to last me years instead of just for this one season and then next year I don't like them or they're bad quality, you know? It's honestly not been fun because <laughs> there are many things that I want to buy, but also I'm trying to realize that instant gratification, but then in the long run, you know, I didn't go on vacation because I didn't have that money saved or, you know? Um, or like little weekend visits here and there you guys when I went quick story I went for a mom's night out um, a few weeks ago now before school started I had to spend money on a babysitter or she didn't get a babysitter but I spent money for Sydney's childcare um, then went out to dinner got a dinner and one glass of wine um, and I live in a tourist town, so prices are like double what a normal price would be somewhere else. Um, and I ended up spending like $125 on just childcare, a pasta dish, and a glass of wine for one mom's night out. I don't regret having a mom's night out. It was a wonderful night. Um, but when I look at the cost of that, I was like, yeah, you no, know, I'd rather spend $125 to on a day of Disney food yeah <laughs> priorities uh we're all different all right enough chatting i think i'm gonna make the soup now i think i have just enough time to get some things chopped up all right so i at least shredded the cheese chopped up the broccoli i do have to go grab sydney in about 40 minutes so i don't think it's enough time to make the soup yet but at least i have some prep done and the soup is really really easy you just you just gotta cook the onions cook the stuff and let it thicken so it really doesn't take a whole lot of all right i ran and grabbed sydney from school it is raining out um and she's saying she's starving which is what she says every single day after school so far this year I feel like she can't hang on can't do that one-handed um i don't know she just she just says how short the lunch period is and i think it's the same amount of time as it usually is who knows she had hot lunch today so i only packed her a snack which she didn't completely finish but she had a fruit bar and then there were some of these too um yeah so she had hot lunch and said she ate well but she's starving maybe she's going through a growth spurt you washing your hands? Yeah, done. I love you. All right, you didn't finish eating your peas? Yeah, that's on peas. You're gonna eat these? Soup? Yeah, I'm gonna make broccoli cheese soup for dinner. Does that sound good? I'll need tomorrow. I'm giving her a small bowl. She just had a granola bar too. All right.
soup is all done. I like to add carrots in there. Just, I don't, it really doesn't do a whole lot. Maybe a tiny bit of texture, tiny bit of like sweetness in there. Um, but more so for looks and because Panera does it. So I have to do it. Anyway, soup is ready. Dinner is served. <laughs>